So I'm walking in today here. Bitapaka War Memorial, uh, which contains uh, the headstones of the uh, Australian army uh, who have fought the battle during World War II in uh, Isnabitan province, which is part of Papua New Guinea. The war which lasted for about five years and uh, a lot of casualties a lot of people have died both Australian armies including uh, uh, Papua New Guineans who have also uh, helped the Australian army to fight this battle against the uh, Japanese invasion and uh, it's a really terrible and a sad situation of uh, the outcome of this war so as you can see uh, the names of army personnel who have given their life in this war uh, and their names are forever engraved in these stones here at the war memorial this is part of uh, many other war memorials that uh, you can see if you do come to Papua New Guinea there's another war memorial found in uh, Port Mosby uh, it's much more bigger than this place here but as you can see this place is kept well clean neat and tidy uh, looks really beautiful because the Australian government is funding uh, this facility. They take care of this facility. Uh, it's the Papua New Guineans who are employed uh, to ensure that this place is kept clean and tidy, neat at all times. So the houses at the back are the residential premises of employees who live here. So let me just look at one of these stones here, the headstone. This is the headstone of A.W. Robinson, 222 Infantry Battalion, 3rd March 1942, age 21. He is given his life in this war. What about the other headstone here? This headstone belongs to P.M. Kalayo 2 slash 22 Infantry Battalion 22nd February 1942 age 45 These two are examples of many other soldiers whose headstone now rest here at Bitapak and uh, tourists from all over the world come to this place to see for themselves and recall back and remember that lives are lost when there is a war wars are not good they just create a lot of misery pain, disaster for everyone. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, to take you to the other end of the war memorial and let's see what uh, is in store for us. Oh, there's still more headstones, plenty of headstones. This place is kept really, really neat and tidy. It's so clean. Uh, very beautiful flower trees growing. To, to, to make this place look nice, 
beautify this place. There's a pillar here, standing tall, right at the top. It's India. I'm not really sure why India is written up there, but definitely there's some significance as to why this pillar has been set up with that name of India. I guess I need to find out. Okay, I guess it uh, explains it now. Uh, right at the top, it's written uh, Indian Army, 1939 to 1945. So I believe the Indian Army were also uh, involved with the Allied forces, which comprises of Australia, US, in fighting this battle against the Japanese invasion. So, the headstones line here to commemorate, to co commemorate those who have uh, fought this battle. Towards the end is Pakistan. So I guess members of the Pakistan military were also part of this uh, World War II uh, event. Uh, this is towards the furthest end of the, the war memorial. I guess that's where it ends. But it's a long line of headstones. I'm looking back towards the entrance. What a beautiful sight. What an interesting place. And it's kept very neat and clean. The grass is cut short all the time. The flowers are pruned. And in fact, it's situated right within the Bitapaka uh, village community. So the village com community at Bitapaka surrounds this war memorial. But they also respect this place. Uh, and it's a good, uh, it's a good thing. So this headstone here says a soldier of the Indian Army 1939 to 1945 is honored here. So the name is not included because I believe it is not known. But the headstone is erected on his behalf to pay respect. Regarding the life they have sacrificed. Alright, this is another headstone here. Uh, 20591 Sipoy Genakan 8 Punjab Regiment, 27 October 1945, age 22. So I believe the writing is the name of the individual soldier who uh, lost his life in the war here in this part of the country. And this memorial was set up to honor those in the Indian Army who lost their life during World War II. So here is another example of a Indian uh, uh, military personnel who also fought in the World War II battle in the Pacific, especially in the East Nebutan province. And this headstone now is erected on his behalf to 
show respect and give dignity to those who sacrifice their life in this war. So as you can see, um, once again, a beautiful sight to behold with all these tomb, uh, tombstones being erected on behalf of those who have died during the war. And uh, very interesting to read about uh, each and every uh, personal uh, personal details, uh, their regiment, and everything concerning them is set out in these tombstones. Very interesting. So the cross stands right in the center of the war memorial. And uh, when you walk through the entrance gate, you are greeted with this cross. It is a symbol of hope, a symbol of faith, that we know that God watches over us, that those who died did not die in vain, but they laid down their life so that all would be free, that all would be safe. Thank you for watching this video and if you really do like this uh, video, if you really like what you're seeing, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. Also, I would encourage you, I mean, if you come uh, to East Nipitin province and you want to see this site, you want to uh, see for yourself, then I strongly urge you to uh, come over because it's accessible by road. It is free of charge. Uh, you don't have to pay. You can just come in and the guards will escort you. They will... Uh, uh, show you around so you can uh, really uh, enjoy the facilities here and it will bring you back down memory lane to what it was like during World War II. So thank you once again for watching and I will see you in the next video.